Hello, my name is Chris and I will review the 2022 Genesis GV70. This is the long-awaited entry of Genesis in the compact crossover segment. They are late to the game, but sometimes it is best to wait and get it right and the value of GV70 is noticeable on the lower trims. I will look at the different trims, make some general remarks and take it out on the road. There are two engine trims, the 2.5 liter 4 cylinder turbo and the 3.5 liter 6 cylinder turbo. I got the all equipped 3.5 liter twin turbo that goes for $75,500 in the province of Quebec plus tax. That is a lot. For reference, the Audi Q5 all equipped goes for about $65,000. You will argue that Q5 comes with a 4 cylinder turbo. I say the all equipped GV70 4 cylinder goes for $63,000. Pretty ballsy of Genesis to charge nearly the same price, but you don't get the same warranty, you don't get the same service or the long term reliability. However, you do not get the slick German branding representing decades of excellence either, and this is important for the premium class. On the inside, GV70 is so strong. Beautiful seats, soft leather, a minimalist design that works better than most, and a design language that rivals the best. Genesis does not forget anything, big glass roof, heads up display, digital dash, driving aids, a sublime Napa leather, laminated acoustic rear door glass, and these 21 inch wheels that have an innovative design for those of you who love huge wheels. In my opinion, the 4 cylinder turbo will do the job and for $63,000 it pretty much has all the equipment of the 6 cylinder turbo but alas, no 21 inch mags. It is the familiar story with Genesis products, they usually feel packed with value and the fingerprint ID which can be used instead of the key to start the vehicle or the driving aids that change lanes for the driver are top notch tech stuff. However, at this price, it simply isn't a deal. The 3.5 liter is more for bragging rights. The 2.5 liter is my choice, no question. The engines are the following, a 2.5 liter that makes 300 horsepower and 311 pounds of torque and a 3.5 liter that makes 375 horsepower and 391 pounds of torque. Fuel economy is 10.7 liters in the city and 8.4 liters on the highway and 12.9 liters in the city and 10 liters on the highway respectively. And I don't know about you, but I'm ready for a hybrid powertrain. Here are my thoughts on the road. Hello car lovers, driving the 2022 Genesis GV70 Sport Plus. This is the one with the big V6 twin turbo. What to say about this vehicle? Well, the exterior styling is uniquely Genesis. When you buy these vehicles, I find in the category, they more or less all have the same dimensions. They more or less all look the same. This is definitely a distinctive styling. It's got 21 inch wheels, guys. 21 inch wheels. We are going nuts with the wheels. It does have a, an interesting design, the mag, which I, I, I haven't quite seen anywhere, which I find kind of awesome. And, and that's what I think about the exterior styling. I mean, it, it looks very nice. It looks very unique and distinctive. On the inside now, Ross makes the remark that the suspension, although very comfortable, although able to handle the Montreal Trail, is somewhat bouncy, has maybe a slightly more edgy than some of its rivals, though not distractingly so. I have to agree with him. Apart from that, the interior room is average for a compact crossover. There's room enough in front for me and Ross. There's room enough in back for two Christophers. However, that's about it, right? You're not in a RAV4, let's just say in layman's terms. Other notes about the interior, the design language is interesting. Despite having only one color, which I, I reproach it, 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 it's, it should have a bit more color. It, it does have nice touches like this, this soft skin top of dash, this soft skin over here, the stitching, the real stitching that goes all the way around in one continuous line. Same thing with the climate control line. Um, here you have some chrome and, and, and brushed uh, metal effects for the door, for the buttons to raise and lower the windows. Here, center console, same thing. Nice, nice brushed metal-like finish. Interesting note about the climate control, the graphics are the same as the 2018 BMW M550. So that's a, an interesting note. There, there, there is a, a, a simplicity, a, a minimalist language. Here inside the dash, it's all digital. 
but it looks very good, very sophisticated. Same thing can be said for the heads-up display, pretty big, lots of information there. A, a complete package in terms of the options. We can't be surprised, Genesis is the luxury brand of Hyundai. Hyundai's never cheap. This vehicle does go for $75,000. That is expensive. You are competing against the best. Is this vehicle better than an all-equipped Q5 or X3? I don't know about that. Does it have the same intrinsic qualities as those vehicles? Probably, probably does. So I find the sweet spot of Genesis models, at least in their sedans, is the model above base. Why? Because they're not that expensive. It's a good price. You usually get the leather, you get the good sound system, you get certain interior design features that are, are present with them. So it's usually a pretty good value. And I think that's where the consumer should be shopping. This engine, very powerful. If you want it, buy it. Of course, when you're accelerating onto on-ramps, it's going to be a blast. I have a feeling though that the 2.5 liter turbo will suffice. A very good vehicle, a warranty that reassures, and also that crazy five year service all included. They come to your house, drop a car off, pick up your Genesis, do the service on it, and then bring back the car. You, you never, you're never without a car, you don't lose a day at the garage, that is awesome. And don't forget that five year bumper to bumper warranty, which is pretty good. I think it's recommendable on the lease, and I recommend it on the purchase. Uh, I think it's one of those few uh, luxury brands that I would recommend on the purchase. And those are my thoughts. By the way, if you like this video, like it. If you don't like it, don't like it. And if you really like it, well then of course you should subscribe. And that is it.